Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we are doing the March Birthstone Flower Fairy. The birthstone for March is an aquamarine and it's this beautiful turquoisey color of blue. It reminds me of the ocean. This doll gives me major mermaid vibes and I think she just turned out so beautiful. So for all of my March birthdays, this fairy is for you. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. If you end up enjoying this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. You can find tons more like it on my YouTube channel. And if you want to be the first to know when I come out with a new video, click on that bell icon. Let's grab some supplies and get started. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a flower. Uh, I did a vote on Instagram and this is the one you guys chose. It's this beautiful full peony. It's got all of these different shades of blue in it and I thought it was just perfect for this fairy. Then I also have some thread that's going to match it. These are different colors of DMC embroidery floss and they're actually part of the aquamarine uh, color section that they have. I will link those below. All of these are based around the Swarovski Burststone crystal set and I'll be using the aquamarine crystals from that. I've got some E6000 glue and a toothpick. I've got this really pretty blue glitter. I'll link that below as well. Some Mod Podge and a paintbrush to apply that. I have this little bit of floral greenery um, with these little tiny berries at the top of it. I'll be using this to make a little piece to put in her hair. I've got my trusty glue gun set on low and a sharp pair of scissors. And of course we're going to need a fairy doll. So to make a fairy, you take a wooden bead, a piece of floral wire and some embroidery floss for the skin and the hair and twist it together to make this cute little doll. If you're new to making fairies, you'll wanna check out my basic fairy tutorial where I take you step-by-step step through these instructions on how to create a doll. Um, with this doll, I'm using this beautiful blue, um, color, variegated color from DMC. It's called Monet's Garden, which I think is absolutely perfectly named. I will be st uh, styling her hair just regular, so just normal, I'll be leaving it down, but there are tons of hairstyle tutorials you can find on my uh, YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. So the first step is to dress our doll. We're going to start right at her waist. I went up, I gave her just one shoulder, I covered one shoulder and a little pair of shorts. The uh, basic fairy tutorial will break those steps down a lot better for you. And then I'm going to grab my flower and pull it apart. And you can see we have tons of beautiful fluffy uh, petals to play with to create her skirt. So I just start layering those together in different ways to kind of create uh, the look that I'm wanting for this doll. And I wanted her to be a little bit whimsical. And so I'm using some of those more uh, ruffly petals. And once you've got it figured out, you're gonna take those petals and fold them in half and cut an X into the center of each petal so you can push the petals up and around her waist. So I do that with all of the petals and then I'm going to start dressing my doll. So starting with the top layer, I just push that up and around her waist. I do that with all of the petals and then I'm gonna start gluing it together. So using tiny dabs of glue, I'm just uh, uh, putting it in between the layers to um, hold them together. I do that in the front and the back. And at this point, I decided I wanted to add two more petals to make her skirt a little bit fuller. And I also use tiny dabs of glue to glue those together. And this is what we've got so far. I did recently come out with a skin tone tutorial so you can give your fairy doll the skin tone. Whatever skin tone you'd like, that will be linked below as well. I'm going to grab my metallic aquamarine color and give her some gloves and that um, other aquamarine thread and give her a pair of shoes. You'll find a link for gloves and shoes on my YouTube channel. Once again, that will be linked below. So all of these tutorials I'm talking about will be below in the description of the video. Now we're going to style her hair. So um, this is another thing that is broken down a lot slower in the basic fairy tutorial. I smooth out the, the thread, push the bead down, add a dab of glue, um, smooth out the thread some more, and then I'm going to loop it up and around to give her just some pretty hair that once again reminds me of mermaids and I'm just getting so many mermaid vibes from this beautiful fairy. Now we're gonna grab our Mod Podge. I'm going to get my paintbrush and I'm going to put a layer of the Mod Podge right around her waist. I find it's easier to use the Mod Podge than a glue gun for this part because it gives you a more even layer of the glitter and the paintbrush definitely gives you more control of where you're putting the glue. So then I just grab my gl glitter, I'm going to dump it right on top of the glue, gently press it down with my finger, and then tap off the excess, and I can put that back in the container. And this is our sparkly aquamarine fairy so far. 
Now this is probably the hardest part. We are now going to add the little Swarovski crystals onto our doll. So I'm using my E6000 glue and a toothpick and I'm going to take the toothpick, get a little tiny bit of the glue and I'm putting three of the crystals right along the side of her dress, so right across her shoulder. So I take a small dab of glue, I'm gonna grab that crystal and it's actually easy to, you can use the crystal or the toothpick to pick up the crystal and put it in place and then I use the opposite side, so the side that doesn't have the glue on it to kind of push that crystal in place. And I'm going to do that with three of those crystals so they're just cascading down the side of her dress, starting up at her shoulder. And I thought this added such a pretty element to her dress and such a fun way to add that birthstone into her, her dress. And you can see how pretty and sparkly and beautiful that is. And then what we're going to do with that last crystal is I'm going to grab this little sprig of greenery that has the little purple flowers on it. I'm taking two of these little plasticky leaves and I'm just gonna cut those right off. And then I'm going to take some of like three of those little purple spriggy flowers whatever these are called, and I'm going to glue those so that the leaf is cascading down. And then I'm going to grab my glue gun, put some glue right on the back of it, and I'm going to put that just at the side of her hair. So I make sure her hair is nice and smooth down. I kind of twist it a little piece back, just barely, so it's kind of um, flowing back. I'm going to add that little leaf right to her hair, hold it until the glue sets, and then with that last crystal, I'm going to take my E6000 glue again, and I'm going to put it just right below those little purple flowers. So just getting a little bit of that glue and adding it right below those purple flowers. And then adding that crystal right on top of it. and we have this beautiful little sparkly element in her hair. I love the color of the thread for the hair. I think this it pulled everything together. I absolutely love how she turned out. I feel like I always need to be doing more blue fairies. She's just so lovely. For everyone that had a March birthday, happy birthday. I would love to hear who you are, so let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know which fairy you're most excited for. I appreciate your support so much, you guys. Please let me know in the comments what you think of her. I've had a blast doing the Birthstone Fairy Doll, so if you missed January and February, go ahead and check those out. I'm looking forward to doing the April Diamond Fairy for next month. You guys are awesome. I love hearing from you. If you do create a fairy, I would love to see it with the hashtag UntidyArtistFairyDoll on Instagram. And with that said, you guys are amazing. We'll see you next time.